Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trail Makers. And today I'm going to attempt to create a machine that essentially is a rock skipper. I want to throw something at the water and I want to have it bounce off the water. And I don't really know how doable of a concept this is. There's a couple of different ideas I have in my head. So let's try them and just see what happens. If anything, this is at least going to be a projectile launching machine. I'm just hoping that those projectiles will happen to skip across the top of the water, but we'll have to test things and find out. Sort of thinking for this, I'm going to have it be somewhat basic. It's not going to be like a mobile vehicle. We're going to have it uh, anchored to the ground. And I think I'm going to use a series of electromagnets to launch whatever it is that we're going to be launching. So I'm going to give myself kind of like a turret base here so we can turn left and right at will. And then, of course, we want to be able to aim up and down, so we give ourselves some other servos here to help with that. All right, I think I have my basic turret design here, so we can turn at will left and right. We can aim up and down, and when I press space, uh, it should simultaneously activate the magnets and, as you saw, detach those detachable blocks so we can launch whatever it is that we're going to be launching. So now, let's just do a quick test of a standard piece. So I'm just gonna put this thing on here and let's see how it interacts with the water and if we even launch it. All right, here we go and launch. Okay, there there was clear resistance when it hit the water. It didn't go as fast as I was hoping. Oh boy, it might be really, really difficult to get something to actually skip off of the water here. All right, so I'm gonna make something a little bit more symmetrical and what I'm gonna do is use the aerodynamic blocks and I'm gonna angle them upwards on all of the sides here in hopes that this is going to make it more likely to skip off of the water. So let's see what happens with this. All right, and launch. All right, and now that, that just didn't launch. Maybe we gotta move it up by one. All right, and launch. Why is that? Why are the magnets not working anymore? What happened? Maybe they just gotta be like right up against it. All right, and launch. Okay, that was a little bit better. Just just a little bit. Oh, interesting. Okay. I don't know if this has any potential to skip off of the water or not. It's really hard to tell. But I feel like, you know, when you actually skip rocks, there's rotation that gets put onto the rock. So what if we add that in? That is not spinning nearly as fast as I expected it to. All right, well, let's see what happens anyway. And it retains none of the spin after it gets detached. You know what? What if we make th this just heavier? I'm going to put a 50 kilogram weight in here just to see what happens. Okay, that didn't help at all. All right, I'm going to double up these magnets. We're just going to put a whole nother layer right on top like this. And I just want to see what effect this has. All right, and go. Ooh. Ooh. That changed things but still no signs of any like resemblance of skipping. Hmm. All right, more experimentation needed. I'm going to put fins around the edges of it. This is gonna, things, things are gonna get weirder and weirder because I'm gonna have to keep making more and more space to make my, to get my ideas to be bigger and bigger. But for this idea, it's gonna be relatively simple. I'm just gonna add these all around it. So it's basically gonna be like, you know, it's gonna kind of look a little bit like a ninja star as we launch it, but I'm hoping that the aerodynamic resistance of these things are going to affect it in a positive way. Now let's see what happens and launch. Okay. See, all right, well, it launched it. Wait, did they fall? Oh no, they're back. That was interesting. Did we just, did we just accidentally make like almost a boomerang? <laughs> I spent so long trying to make a boomerang in one video and now this thing is even close, this thing's already closer than I ever got with that. Um, all right, I just want to launch it at the water though. How are we going to get it to skip off of the water? Oh, that was the closest. Like that was kind of interesting, wasn't it? See, it doesn't maintain the rotation at all. The rotation doesn't seem to be really making any difference. All right, so I'm just going to remove the rotation and see how it affects things. And I'm also going to move over to this other dock where we have more open ocean ahead of us. There we go. This is good right here. All right, and go. That actually spins on its own, kind of. This is really interesting. All right, what if I aim like straight down? <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> I don't think that counts. 
All right. That was something, wasn't it? All right, and I feel like I'm, I might be like cheating just a little bit though. Oh, I'm like slowly repairing into the water. Yeah, I am, I am not gonna survive this much longer. Look at that. All right, so the only reason why that skips is because as soon as we launch this thing, it automatically pitches up. So if I launch it at the water, it just pitches up off of the water and looks like a skip. So I don't think that that really counts. But one of the only ways I can think of to make an actual rock skipper is to have it like have a slight angle of aerodynamics. But then it's just going to do this in the air because the air is also a fluid that has resistance like water. And yes, air is a fluid. You might want to Google if air is a fluid before you try to tell me I'm stupid. All right, so I'm going to make myself a new rock and hope for the best. All right, is this the most skipping rock looking rock you've ever seen right here? If this doesn't work, I'm going to be very disappointed. I don't think it's going to work, though. I'm prepared for disappointment. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. It floats. I didn't know that it floats. Our rock floats. Okay, so now the issue that we're having is it doesn't launch straight anymore. The fins at least kept it kind of straight. So what if, what if I'm able to like, I don't know. I don't know what if, okay? I'm just, I'm just making stuff up as I go and hoping that it works. All right, I, di I did something kind of weird. So let's see what happened. Okay, all right, well, I, that, that, that was okay. Whoa, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Oh, okay. If it lands flat, this has potential. This actually, I think, does have potential. Look at that. It almost skips. I think it needs to be a little bit heavier. I wish we could adjust the weight on these weight blocks, like, through, like, a settings, you know, menu. Because 50 kilograms is just so extreme. Yeah, I can't do 50 kilograms. All right, this thing does need, like, a tail, though. Look at what we've created in the water. This, this looks like turtles. This is kind of nice. I like it. All right, I made a change and that change didn't help. Okay, is this one gonna work better? Ooh, this is showing a little bit. Oh man, there's too much stuff in the water. Here, I'm gonna aim over here now. I think I gotta hit, I just gotta hit the water. I just gotta hit the water nice and straight. Come on. Wait, did was that the thing that I just... I don't know what's going on anymore. Okay, what's this gonna do now? That's showing more promise. All right, it doesn't, uh, it still doesn't maintain the rotation after it launches. Here, let's just launch it straight up and see what happens. See, this is not behaving the way that I would hope it would. All right, uh, what if I do more magnets? Maybe we just need some more magnets. Is this gonna be stronger? I don't know if that's stronger. All right, another experiment incoming. I don't really know what to expect with any of this anymore. Ah, oh, they just all instantly dive down now. You guys think I've had enough failed attempts so far? Maybe we can skip it off the ground. Hey, look at that. <laughs> this is so bad. Maybe we just need to go bigger. I'm gonna make a giant rock now, just much, much bigger than what we have right now. <coughs> All right, I've got a new rock. Check this thing out. It doesn't work. But I wasn't expecting it to work yet. This rock now has a lot more freedom to add like wing pieces and even maybe some control onto it. I don't know. Oh, and sometimes it doesn't work at all too. That's also a thing that, why doesn't it work anymore? I think maybe it's time to start deleting some of the stuff that we've done. Okay, yeah, this rock's completely broken now. It's just, it's completely broken. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, delete. Everything should disappear. There we go. Oh, yeah, and it, it works now. All right, does it work over here now? No, not, not really. All right, let's see if this is any better. You know what? I just got the brilliantly stupid idea of trying to convert my boomerang thrower into a rock skipper. So this is not, this, there's no way this is gonna do anything good, but I just wanna give it a try and see what happens with this. That, as a throw, that looked way better, at least. That looks like a rock, like that looks like a rock skipping throw right there. Oh, no, no, not that, don't do that. 
No, don't do that either. Come on. I just want to see a nice... No, why? You were working so good just a second ago. Come on. Why is this happening now? We had like three good throws. There we go. Okay, now if we could just make this rock more skippable, maybe we'll have something here. All right, new rock here. Uh, the one that was almost kind of working before, but I had to adjust the attachment points since I can't attach from the outside. So let's see if this works any better. All right, come on, release. Whoa! That, like, it soars, but there's nothing giving it that, like, upwards trajectory when it hits the water. So what if I create another layer like that, but then there's a bottom layer here is going to have... Oh, I'm gonna need to make this wider, I think, like that. I don't know what to... I, don't, I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna keep trying. All right, this is a lot bigger. Let's see how it works. All right, and... That was the be I think that was the most legit we've had so far. This is actually not, like, terrible. It just- it doesn't continue to go up after it hits the water. Like, the back hits the water, and then it kind of just curves down into the water. Alright, what if I replace these now with slightly bigger- bigger version of the tail fins? Alright, check this one out. Let's see if this works. Whoa. Okay, that behaved a lot more differently than I- I didn't expect this to be that much different than the previous version. But this actually, it really is. Oh, it just won't bounce though. Why won't it bounce? <sighs> All right, I still can't quite get it there. I've made a lot of adjustments. I've done a lot of tests. And the way that I have it now is I tried to make it so that some steering hinges we're gonna angle these fins up just a little bit, but I'm having that issue again where once it releases, they go back to default, so it doesn't really matter anyway. But I have tried it with a bigger one like this, and this showed promise, but, cause you can see it actually, it starts to dive, not dive, but like, what's the opposite of dive? It starts to like resurface as if it's gonna skip off the water. It just doesn't have enough momentum. What if it had thrusters on it? All right, so I've given it a mini thruster and the thrusters stay on after it detaches for whatever reason, even though the wings don't do their thing. And this seems to have actually kind of made it worse. Okay, I think this is now the new best version. Check that out. We actually have a much more noticeable hit and then we're off the water and then it just kind of like fumbles into the water after that. But a successful skip. Look at that. That was it. That's like, it's doing it. It's actually doing it. You can even see after it sinks into the water. One, two, you can see the two impact points in the water. All right, let's go get another angle. See if we got a good angle here. Oh, look at that. That's not bad. That, that, that is actually not bad at all. I like this. So here we have a very not so great rock skipper. Does it skip rocks? Yes. See, As you, they, they, they always a like, very clear skip. Does it skip them well? No. So basically, we have a rock skipper here that doesn't work great, but it works. So I'd say that that is an overwhelming success for the channel here because things don't have to work great. They just got to work and we got it to a working state. I really didn't think we were going to get anything even close to resembling a rock skip. So leave a like for mild success. And let me know if you guys have any other crazy trail makers ideas. Leave those down in the comments below. If you want to see other cool trail makers videos just like this one, then you're going to want to check out this playlist right here. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.